Day 83. In the northeast, the Ukrainian forces decided to regroup and therefore moved from the central area here towards the local strongholds Svetohirsk and Leman. The reason behind this regrouping is the following. The Russians will still not be able to move deep into the central region because of the river, where the Ukrainians can hold them off very easily. The outward expansion from the central area is also very difficult, because the Ukrainians are holding the most beneficial positions on this bank of the river. When it comes to the town Svetohirsk, taking it from the north is impossible, because the southern part of the city is located across the river and at a higher altitude. The Russians understand this and therefore launch the second attempt to take it from the south. In order to ensure that the Russians will not breach the southern defense, the Ukrainians relocated some of their forces here. This should allow the Ukrainians to continue holding virtually an all-round defense. The same concerns the town Leman. The Ukrainians in Drobyshevo left this town in order to join with the Ukrainian forces located in Leman. The town Leman is much more prepared to meet the enemy and should still be connected to Slovensk from where it receives the supplies. In the east, the Russian forces did not attack the Ukrainian forces in Lysychansk today. It seems like the Ukrainians in Lysychansk managed to inflict a lot of damage to the Russians who tried to get across the river and establish their positions on the right bank of the local river. Whether no action in this area is temporary or the Russians decided to regroup is not known yet. In Severodonetsk there are no changes. The separatist forces continue to attack the Ukrainians from every direction. But the Ukrainians, who assumed almost an all-round defense, do not let the enemy to get into the town. In the southern part of this region, the Russian forces are also stuck. The Russians still did not achieve any progress in the village Toshkovka, and their attack on Zolote has also lost its momentum. Right now, the Russians are trying to take the western part of the village Komushovaha, but the Ukrainians relocated a lot of forces to this direction and do not give the Russians a possibility to enter it. Overall, the Ukrainians seem to have managed to stop the collapse of their defense line in the east and take the upper hand. And the Russian plan to take this region fast failed. In the southeast, the Russians still did not manage to get into the town New York. However, they did gain some ground in the outer suburbs. But as you can see, this little southern part of the town stretches many kilometers to the south, and the outer part is basically an undetached village. In fact, it is even smaller than the villages nearby. Therefore, the Russians are still far from taking this town by storm. When it comes to the second main direction here, the town Avdiivka, the Russians continue trying to take it in circle. The town is too strong to be taken directly. Therefore, the Russians are trying to get in the rear in order to strike in the back, which should be more vulnerable and where, therefore, they should have higher chances. When it comes to the towns Piski and Marinka, it seems like the Russians did not expect to see such bad results. The defense in even these smaller towns is so well established that they cannot be considered easy targets to gain ground behind Avdiivka. The Russians got really stuck and their plan to quickly encircle Avdiivka seems to have failed as well. In the south, the Russians are storming the town Velikonovosilka. Some sources suggest that they have entered the suburbs, however, the main and the strongest part of the town that is located on an island, or more precisely peninsula, is still fully controlled by the Ukrainians and almost the whole territory outside this island is still under the Ukrainian control as well. When it comes to the other regions, the situation is relatively stable and no major changes happen today. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, by the end of the 83rd day of the war, the Russians had lost 201 airplanes, 167 helicopters, 1,235 tanks, 3,009 armored fighting vehicles and 27,900 soldiers. I will continue to make daily updates on the situation, so stay tuned.